let's talk a little bit about collage and what is collage. So collage is a French word and it actually means gluing and sticking things together. And it was a movement that was started by the well-known artist Picasso in the 1900s and Brock. And they started gathering different pieces of artwork and even pieces of newspaper and found objects. And they created this very uh, different kind of movement that started to take off. Now today, art collage is very, very popular and people are using it all over the place to create different kinds of mixed media artworks. It's very exciting, the sky is the limit. So just looking at a few examples, um, here we had a shoe. Now this particular project took six weeks where the shoe was looked at in all sorts of different ways and finely drawn and then cut up to create a completely different shoe using all the different um, styles. So that is very carefully measured, very carefully glued together. The same shoe was used in a different kind of collage where uh, the different artworks were cut into the same size little squares and put slightly differently in different directions, higgledy-piggledy, onto some black card. And then some thread was put over the top which basically kind of continues the theme of the thread of the shoe. And what you'll also notice is the artworks that the learners feel most embarrassed by, which are normally the blind contour drawings, they think, oh, they're terrible or they're funny. Those are the, actually the ones that create the most interest, I think, and where one can actually take that line and start drawing through the collage with the Koki pen from the blind contour drawing. So it's really a case of starting to appreciate different marks rather than looking for an exact representative. Here's a collage of the same shoe where uh, the different artworks were cut into different shapes and then combined to create a completely new artwork which also has a sense of balance. So we're looking at balance by repeating colors and repeating shapes. So you can see circles are repeated, little buttons as circles are repeated, the different colors are al alternated and that way we get a kind of harmonious feel from lots of different artworks that are put together. And then I did something quite roughly here by taking the artworks from last week, tearing and cutting them. So tearing is a technique that one can use in art. And when you tear, you get a slightly different kind of line than when you cut. So what I did is I alternated the cutting and I alternated the tearing and I recreated this kind of feel. Then once again, you can say, why do we do this? Art is a process and it's actually a healing process um, in some ways. And I found as I was doing this, it kind of made me think and feel about the time of COVID and how our lives are being kind of splintered and we're putting all our lives back together again and creating something new from a time that really has been most challenging. So that's when it came what kind of came through this for me and why this type of artwork came out of the other artworks. So as the learners are working, they're going to start feeling and thinking different things um, as they relate to their artworks. So also just notice I um, offered or I used a limited palette. That means I only used the brown, the newspaper, the black and the red. And the reason I chose red is because there was red in the newspaper there. Okay, so what might also really kind of bring this artwork together is if I were to take aspects of the photograph, cut or tear them and add them into this, which I might very well do. So there are some examples of collage and the idea really is to, to basically get the learners to know that the sky is the limit. They can put it together in any way they like. The most important thing is that they glue the pieces flat to create a quality artwork and at the end they are going to have something abstract which is brand new which makes people think which makes them think and they're going to learn that they can create something completely different and that art can be transformed at any time so i invite you to experiment to play and to really try all sorts of new things in this collage process i look forward to seeing the results